everybody. Hey. Big Tony. What? It's Big Tony. Yes, yeah, Big Tony. Hey, uh, welcome this evening. I am, for some reason, the uh, comedy relief. And part of that is just, just my looks, I guess. Um, I want to welcome you to this evening. Um, a little bit about myself. I am a uh, elementary teacher, so I am, and Lee is also an elementary teacher. So we are well versed in the uh, rug rat uh, people of the earth. Right. And salt to the earth. Intimately, no way. Not too intimately. And five more days, and we won't know them anymore. Uh, I also teach driver's ed, so I'm a driver's ed teacher, and which uh, so stay off the sidewalks if you are ever in Fort Wayne. Um, and I will tell you some of those stories a little bit later. Um, if you get anything tonight, if you learn anything this evening, it won't be from me, okay? Um, not only is that all happening, but there are about, I want you to, as you're sitting there, count how many things you hear that I say that you think are not true, okay? So as you're tallying in your seats there, eating your desserts and more steak, um, try to tally how many things you think aren't true. Because some of those things I said may not be true. Okay. Um, the other thing I want you to know is not only am I a teacher, and a driver's ed teacher, father of four, all that stuff, master of none, um, I also am an inventor. I have invented one thing very in particular, and I wanted to show you a picture of what I invented, and here it is. <coughs> I want you to see what you think in that picture, if you can see it, is that I invented and I want you to decipher that and try to, try to discuss with your colleagues what you think it is. Shorter version of Steve Wilhall. <laughs> is that possible? It's impossible. <laughs> I didn't say it. That's why he's got no Modern food. plumbing. <laughs> Modern plumbing. Bucket. Is it a doggy bag coming up? Doggy bag. No. What I invented is, do you see how his, his um, he has a bucket. You see the opposite arm is up? I... <laughs> Counterbalance. I, invent, I invented the arm going up. That was me. I had to go to like basically rural areas and sell this product to people, and I invented that. In fact, I've even got it to uh, to the point that even kids will do it. <laughs> I like that. Kids will do it. Uh, so it's a, a really well. Uh, rounded um, invention. In fact, I'm now working on the fact that I can try to get women to do it as well. Okay, but it takes two of them to do it. Okay, <laughs> of course. And the bucket's empty, sadly. So, uh, the other thing I want you to know is I am a songwriter. I've written this piece. Um, I don't know if you can decipher it from where you're sitting. Um, and just because of time constraints and everything, I can't sing the whole song to you. But I could at least do the chorus. Okay, and the chorus goes. By Manon. <laughs> so that's uh, <laughs> something that I've done as well. Okay. So, yeah. I, I want to congratulate our our guest of honor here this evening for basically oops, for <laughs> surviving this long, actually, because we were all boys at one point. I was born a man once, but um, for the most part, I tell my students I was born Mr. Lemon. So they went, what's your first name? I was born Mr. Lemon. So don't even ask. But um, congratulations for surviving this long, because there's been lots of stoves that have probably been touched, um, cats that have been poked, maybe. Maybe other things dog, like dog. dog poked, whatever. So um, I wanted to show you some pictures of, of reasons why perhaps men don't live as long as they should. Um, <clears throat> so the first one here is, this is a long history of men. Um, a long history of our, our parentage, our heritage of men doing things that may might not prolong their life as much as it should be. Yeah. So uh, the next one I want to show you is this is a, a very interesting um, interpretation of... Uh, Trying to get as high as you can, I guess. I don't know. It looks like he used popsicle sticks and duct tape or something to get up there. He's fixing the light and, you know, counterbalancing all that stuff. It's a genius, genius uh, plot. Now, this guy right here is mowing the top. <laughs> and incidentally, this is his last known photo. So. <laughs> Genius. Yeah. 
That's pretty good. Now this one I think is a genius as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, I don't know how long he's going to last with that. Uh, so if he's in, if he's somewhere in the equator or something, that might be bad. So another one. Now, I like this is one of my favorites here because. You see these men in hazmat suits. <laughs> and next to them is Uncle Larry over there. Ready to go golfing or something. So, I don't know how that's going to go. Okay. And this is a good one too. Um, this is one way, I suppose, of getting that uh, big screen TV into your apartment. Yeah. Uh, not so much, not so much. There is one way to do it, and that's not it. So, um, and I think these guys are geniuses too. They wanted to, they, they wanted to have the um, table in there plugged in for a reason. So what did they do? They, they floated on their sandals in the pool on a, on a power strip. Oh, <laughs> They see it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's going to hurt, perhaps. Yeah. Especially at the level of water. There you go. <laughs> okay. And I had to zoom this one in because I want you to see this is a it looks like a TV table, and then a table on top of that, and on top of that is some cinder blocks. And what do you think is on top of the cinder blocks? A ladder. A ladder. Yeah, but you had to get up there. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Oh, I think the, the previous picture is that is that Sprite? What is that next to that? I don't know. Other beverage as well. Maybe that enhanced his uh, decision making, perhaps. Okay. Um,